Our testing landscape, red blue colour check there, and we're going to go for the drive around the loop and look at the dam, another the roadage and all the things like that. So, uh, I think it's going to be a double one. For us. Mm. Okay, right. Look at this way, it's only be doing any uh, 40 k's, okay. Yeah, we'll fit it all in that way. Watch out for Kangas across the road, because we did see one I mean, across the road probably about half an hour ago, it was, wasn't it? Sorry, I'm banging that on the front of the Oh, I know why I'm getting the bonnet in here more because I've got the lens cap back on. I was wondering why have I got the bonnet in the camera because I said I found the or or did I have the I don't know or is there something wrong all the clips are going to be out of focus because I've got the zoom or something on or the blue tack has slipped overnight or something I don't know but uh, I'm assuming the stabilizer is still on and hasn't shifted <laughs> I suppose I'm going to find out when I get home but the next thing is to check now the batch you got the correct stabiliser setting on. It hasn't actually gone, as I said, it hasn't actually gone back to um, settings from uh, colour check on the, the signage there. It's a little bit orange in the monitor, but oh, okay. Mm. What about this one? Mm. Through the windscreen and in, in real life, how about that? Okay, colour check on. It's one of my favourite signs, this one. Oh, it looks a bit orange in the monitor. But we are four notches down and it might be different when we get home, so. Okay. Oh. It would be nice to stop the car and check that out, but as I said, it's um, too early in the season. There's people coming here. Uh, unless I find a bay or something to look at the things. So there'll be too much traffic on the road. Oh, they might be a bay, but we'd have to walk back. Uh, no, like there's one there I could do if I was coming the other way, but you, it's, it's only a one way though, so you can't do it really. Unless you back into it. Suppose we could back into it. Put you back into it, Richard. <laughs> okay. Oh well, yeah, it works better with the litties, I think. Yeah. Well, okay. You want the you want the scene you're standing out the window. Okay. Well, there you go. I'm holding the camera at arm's length. It's got the stabilizer on, so. Okay, bring it back in the car. Oh. Okay, bit of scenes up there for you. Caution restricted area ahead, okay. Okay. I haven't seen that sign before. Hands are much falling off, fellas. I'm glad this is going to be the last clip. <laughs> uh, let's, let's get in over the other side of the way. No, no, I want more. <laughs> I'm still not satisfied. I need more. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, don't worry, when the, when the hobby really gets going and uh, the CP conundrum is solved, uh, oh, it's going to be a fantastic time to be alive. But uh, all the people that deserve some repudiation are probably going to be dead by then. Uh, they're going to get out of it with their lives. <laughs> yeah, it's like, like nobody gets out alive. <laughs> yeah. Okay, 
So we normally have poly pump flicks in this area over here, so you know, on the side of the road, so. But it's usually around about the third week of October, so, but then again, the season is running a little bit late, so, but then again, it might catch up by then. Uh, sometimes we, uh, we do actually uh, park, our, park our car in here, because we can. And we may actually go for a little bit of a wander here. Come on. Yeah, struggling. I wonder if that means the battery's uh, getting low or something. Yeah, it has been struggling these cold mornings to actually get the bloody thing started. Because it's a vapor system. Yeah. What is it? PVNR2 or something like that? Yeah. See you half the uh, yeah. you lower the temperature you lower the volume and it's 22.4 litres to every mole or something so okay yeah we're getting colour on the uh, air, uh, the Apacris it's the equivalent to the Aracase we got the Apacricase in the land down there in Australia and it's it fits in the same sort of niche and wow these are looking nice Oh yes, these are looking nice. Look at that, fellas. I don't know. I oh, know I have to go closer, don't I? I'm almost touching the ground. They're very small, but they're very nice. That's why I parked the car. I knew they'd be in here. And look how nice they are. Look at the well, look at the colour on that. And we're not even. We're two months away. June, July. So we're ten weeks away from the coldest nights. So, there was a whole load over here on this side, if I remember rightly, another, whoa, there he is. They're very small, barely that size. You know, these things can get up, as I said, after a bushfire. You can get up to, uh, you know, hand size, so in other words they, they're equivalent members of the Stolen River Complex, they come across from probably WA and uh, they're following the island ecology with speciation on Kangaroo Island and uh, yeah and of course there's probably even more surprises uh, over on the Air Peninsula which is the geology on the Air Peninsula is uh, more akin to the uh, top left corner of Kangaroo Island and um, I don't know if I can remember rightly I think they said there's a source of some relations to WA in there as well so 